Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed, baby. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk a little Canelo. I'm mean, pretty sure everybody has. I haven't checked my boxing news in a while. But I know <clears throat> the news is about Canelo Alvarez having problems with his network, the zone. Uh, they don't want him to, you know, we keep talking about they want a pay cut. Of course, everyone's taking a pay cut in, in Corona times. But they also are upset with his choices of opponents, right? We've been saying it for a long time. I've done a thousand videos about it. Remember, I did the one video about uh, they banned uh, Canelo's team has banned uh, the zone from talking about Demetrius Andre. That's why the zone never mentions it. They only talk about Gennady Golovkin. I've done videos documenting this the whole time. You know, full of the thumbs downs and stuff like that all the time. But it is what it is. The zone is upset. You know, they they said you know one tough fight a year, and I don't think one tough fight a year. For the face of boxing is asking too much, especially if we've paid you $365 million. That is not asking too much for the very best boxer on the planet. Let people tell it. One, and they're not happy with yielding them. And we, we, we have already had fielding. You forced Kovalev to fight. And we know who you won't fight. <clears throat> so the zone is fed up, right? September the 12th is around the corner. Another Mexican holiday we're not going to make. Remember last Mexican holiday? It didn't happen because of the same people you don't want to fight. Let me just tell you what I think. Your boy Demetrius Andre has ruined Canelo's career. Because this behavior that's going on, you can't take it back. All of these things that are going on are because of Demetrius Andre and Charlo, of course. Right? But I say Demetrius Andre first because he was the same behavior started at 154 pounds when Andre had the title and was begging Canelo to fight him because Canelo was the mandatory and the challenger. Hey, you can get me. And he called him names and everything to try to get him. Canelo just wouldn't fight him. When he got stripped and Liam Smith got the title, Canelo fought for that same title that he wouldn't fight Andre for. Right? And last year, an undisputed middleweight fight against Andre. Undisputed. One champion in the middleweight division. Canelo, his team, and all of media ignored that. I keep telling you, I'm mourning about that. I'm going to always hone in on it and always talk about that because that was huge for me. I'm like, wait a minute. We're watching boxing. We have a chance to get one champion in the division and we're not going to all talk about it. Everybody, universally, everybody. I don't even know if anybody talked about it except me. I'm not sure. But what are we talking about with boxing if we ignore an undisputed fight? And then we keep calling him the very best, right? The zone is not having it anymore. They are pissed. You know, um, you know, some people are like, hey, you know, well, somebody people got it, somebody gotta tell him he gotta fight Andre or Charlo. You do not have to tell a boxer who the other champions are in his weight division. You don't. Canelo knows damn well who Andre and Charlo are. They do better numbers than he does. His numbers came out from the zone six hundred thousand on his last fight against Kovalev, who who at least is a name. He did less than Lara's last fight, less than the Charlo's last fight, and probably Andre's too. You understand? But they will tell you he's the face of boxing. If only 600,000 want to see you fight Kovalev, not really then. You understand? So that's not even the, uh, the case. You know, Canelo has, is in, in, in uh, problems with his network, with his promotion company. I've told you before, I've done videos about that as well. Oscar De La Hoya is coming back because. The simple is that, like, Canelo, they, may, they move out the way, man. If you ain't going to fight neither one of these guys, it ain't like you got to go in here and beat them the hell out of them, but show that you want to fight them and, and get in there with these guys. Just find out who the very best is in the division. It's not the, that big of a deal, right? The Andre ain't going to knock you out. He's just going to embarrass you a little bit. And you probably beat Charlo. Who knows? You know what I mean? But go in there. And so Oscar De La Hoya going to go in here and get hurt on national TV messing around with these boys. But at least he's going to go in there, right? At least you're going to go in there. <laughs> oh, man. Like I told you before, you can't take this behavior back. It is what it is. And that's the story of boxing this year uh, behind the Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury glove gate. Canelo's behavior to me is the biggest story in boxing. Because for me, everybody thinks Canelo is great except for him. Even the people that are going in on them, like me, Canelo is a great boxer. None of these guys I'm mentioning, and you know I roll with Demetrius Andre. It's not a guarantee that he beats Canelo. I think Andre uh, does beat him, but it's not a guarantee there. 
That's a 60-45 in my opinion. Charlo and Canelo, that goes straight down the middle. I'm not sure who wins that fight. And let's make sure this is clear. You got to beat the hell out of Canelo to get the fight. And beating the hell out of him don't do that too much neither. Ask Floyd Mayweather about that. So I don't understand why he's not fighting him. But I'll give you a hint. Demetrius Andrade is the only fighter in boxing right now whose mandatory challenger doesn't want to fight him. Right? I keep mentioning that too. His mandatory challenger does not want to fight him. Right? Now, this is a guy without all that pow punching power and all of that stuff. It's called embarrassment power. People know they're going to get embarrassed. His, his mandatory is Jaime Munguia. What is Jaime Munguia? 35 and 0 with 28 knockouts going up to a midweight division, making noise. Going to be the next Mexican bad powerhouse juggernaut. I've got Mexican style and I don't give a damn. All of that good stuff. He doesn't want to fight Demetrius Andre. He's lined up to fight Toriano Johnson sometime in October, from what I'm hearing. Right? But he's supposed to be fighting a title fight against Demetrius Andre. He's not. I didn't read the article. I just read the title. Because I know in the article they're not going to say what I'm saying. Jaime Munguia is not, does not want to fight Demetrius Andre. And he has another fight going on. And he's the mandatory. He's supposed to do that. Which means we, now Liam uh, Smith is going to get the fight against Andre, and we're going to ask Andre, who you fought? Just like Lewis the Real King Kong Ortiz. Can't get a fight right? Now he's going to fight some dude, I forget his name, some Alexander Johnson or something. He got a fight on the undercard of Chris Ariola and um, uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. And we're going to ask Lewis the Real King Kong Ortiz, who, who you fought? Hey, he's an old, people be writing in just saying stuff. Oh, I ain't got time to answer people like that. It's ridiculous. He old, and he's this and he that, and no one will fight him. And it's been that way for five years. Right. These are the guys. Those are the guys I'm talking about. That's in the Negro leagues in boxing. Demetrius Andre, Louis Real, the Real King Kong Ortiz, uh, um, your boy Guillermo Rigondeaux, Devin Haney, you know, Charlo, too. But they at least they're going to have some real good fights. But those four or five guys, Negro leagues, we ain't giving them the opportunity to, to be great. Terrence Crawford, to a lesser extent, people try to act like he's supposed to fight everybody. You know, like everybody, what is up with Pacquiao? Pacquiao's last fight, he was probably doped. He didn't take a, death, a, a test, a uh, dope test. Now, he's uh, that's who's supposed to be fighting Crawford. He's get able to run away from Crawford for, for four years. And no one says anything. Those are points for Terrence Crawford. And Terrence Crawford still wants him or Spence for titles and belts. And then I'll get to the rest of you guys. I don't see what's so hard to understand. Yo, he's going to fight. Thurman. He always got to fight his best friend, Sean Porter. They ain't got titles. Got time for y'all. But if I can't get Pacquiao, then whatever. And then why Sean Porter? I'm going to fight my friend. If I fight Kel Brook, Kel Brook beat Sean Porter, right? I fight the guys who beat the guys. Sean Porter lost to Kel Brook, so I'm going to fight him, right? Sean Porter lost to Errol Spence. That's why I want him. Keith Thurman, you lost to Pacquiao. That's why I want him. You know what I'm saying? I don't get that either. Negro leagues, but the only thing about Terrence Crawford is brothers on him. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, we, hey, if you can't get them, and then instead of Kell Brook, then fight somebody from PBC, which I don't understand either. Who cares where they're from? It's a good fight, and to to the meantime, till we get to the other, right? But bottom line, though, don't you? I don't know you probably happy. I was talking about Terrence Crawford and them for a while. Uh uh, Canelo Alvarez and Jaime Munguia are gonna have their careers are gonna be in tatters because they don't want to fight Demetrius Andre. Don't think all this chaos is just happening. It's happening because somebody ain't fighting Demetrius Andrade. And the whole boxing community will not put Demetrius Andrade at number one pound for pound. Right? Minimum top five. Because all this information I'm telling you, boxing community knows. But they will ignore this guy. If somebody will go to this length to not fight another fighter, then damn it, that fighter has to be awesome. And Demetrius Andrade is. Period. Don't with sports talk worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.